Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Commission. Now we are discussing about a very interesting topic in coordination complexes. So the colors, the reason behind the color, one is the DD transitions, another one is the charge transfer transitions. Okay. Now we are discussing about a charge transfer, uh, charge transfer spectra in coordination complexes. Coordination complexes. So generally the color occurs uh, like either DD transition or charge transfer tra transition. So charge transfer having the several types uh, like uh, metal to ligand, ligand to metal, like intervalence uh, metal to metal or ligand to ligand uh, charge transfers. Okay. So there are occurs uh, so many types of the charge transfers but, but before going to the topic we are discussed the, the main key points about the charge transfer spectra okay now the first point is so here both uh, like uh, uh, our complex like our charge transfer complex uh, both spin as well as laport allowed uh, laport allowed transitions so, so simply if delta s is equal to zero then it is spin allowed delta l is equal to uh, plus or minus one then it is laport allowed so our charge transfer uh, transitions all are spin as well as uh, laport allowed transition so if both are allowed uh, it should more intense in color okay it should very uh, bright uh, intense in color okay uh, so this is the it, it should more intense in color okay now the second point uh, charge transfer bands are more intense color than the DD bands. Okay, so DD bands it shown like a broad color, but uh, charge transfer it shown the sharp color. Okay, it shown a uh, uh, sharper than the DD bands. Okay, now again the third point uh, charge transfer bands appears a more frequency ratio more frequency region it appears approximately uv region so many of the complexes it appears like a uv region but some of the complexes it appears a, a visible region so visible region complexes which show more intense in color more intense in color now the next point is mostly so the charge transfer uh, bands occurs at a uv region in uv region now the next point ct spectra is also said to be redox spectra redox spectra generally so the ligand to metal or metal to ligand electron transfer so if it is a uh, uh, metal lost the electron then it is oxidation now ligand uh, gain the electron then it is a uh, reduction so uh, in, in in a single process uh, both oxidation and reduction takes place then it is called a redox process or redox reactions so our charge transfer spectra or uh, redox process okay so that's why they are electron transferred from metal to ligand or ligand to metal both are possible okay now the next point is if metal cation having more oxidizing power that means uh, uh, more charge over the cation okay now uh, then its corresponding charge transfer bands appears at less frequency ratio okay listen carefully if metal cation having more oxidizing power then its corresponding ct bands appears at le less frequency ratio so vice versa that means uh, if metal cation having the less oxidizing power then its corresponding ct bands appears a high frequency ratio okay these are the very interesting key points about uh, like a charge transfer spectra charge transfer spectra now uh, before going to the charge transfer spectra we will discuss the classification of ligands so those are the very important one so uh, the ligand which ligand uh, are classified the, like a sigma or pi donor or pi acceptor ligands so now before going to the charge transfer spectrum now we'll discuss the some of the uh, like a classification of ligands classification of ligands okay ligands so generally our ammonia having the ammonia is a ligand so ammonia means a uh, 2s2 2p3 2s2 2p3 now here three unpaid electrons are there here one or two low one lone pair is there so these three unpaid electrons will bind up with a hydrogen uh, single and uh, single electron then it forms the nh3 here one unpaid electron is there so this unpaid electron can do donate their pair of electrons to the central metal atom so which forms only sigma bond okay it cannot accept the metal electrons to itself okay so our ammonia it is not a pi acceptor ligand that means uh, pi electrons cannot accept here okay again it cannot develop another bond okay that means it cannot develop pi bonds also okay that's why here only sigma donor okay it can only donate a sigma donor that's why the first classification of a ligands is a sigma donor ligands sigma donor ligands so simply ammonia like a uh, like a x minus that means not halogens like a ch minus methyl minus c6 h5 minus or not the c6 h5 aromatic not the aromatic ones now the second one is okay the second one is So second one is nothing but uh, like a OH minus. Okay, OH minus. Our minus will form the bond with a uh, metal. 
Okay. Now again, uh, oxygen having the two lone pair of electron. Now it again need to develop the another bond. That is nothing but pi bond. Now this type of bonds are classified sigma and pi donor ligands. Sigma and pi donor ligands. Now the best examples are OH like uh, H2O. It develops the bonds. Now OH minus X minus. That means uh, chloride, bromide, iodide. These are the like uh, an example of uh, sigma and pi donor ligands. Sigma and pi donor ligands. Sometimes NH2 minus it can act as this sigma and pi donor ligands. Now the final one is pi acceptor ligands. Like uh, our carbonyl having the uh, two lone pair of electrons, each each atom having the one lone pair of electron. Now here. Uh, our metal uh, deficient metal the, the carbon atom lone pair uh, they can they cannot they can donate the pair of electron to the central metal atom now here it develops the like a uh, uh, is metal uh, metal metal to carbon single bond metal to carbon single bond that is nothing but sigma bond now here the uh, again metal having the lesser size again it it's surrounded by the several several number of ligands all the ligands donate their pair of electrons that's why here it increases the electron cloud they cannot bear the that much of electron cloud that's why the the metal electrons they sent to return back to the metal atom now here that metal atom can, can uh, received their pair of electron that is called pi acceptor ligands pi acceptor ligands okay now here we are why why the ligands classification discussed over here that uh, because of uh, here the charge transfer between the metal to ligand ligand to metal so here uh, now we understand the total concept here only okay some of the uh, these two complexes which donates the electrons that means uh, this type of ligands uh, uh, visible over the question paper now it donates the pair of electron that means ligand to metal charge transfer spectra only occurs but in case of pi acceptor ligands it can accept the pair of electron that means uh, here the mlct is absorbed mlct is absorbed now we we'll go through the like a, a very uh, basic concepts of charge transfer spectra so this is the classification of ligands okay now charge transfer spectra charge transfer spectra so generally charge transfer spectra was classified into four types one is a like a ligand to metal charge transfer spectra ligand to metal charge transfer spectra now the second one is metal to ligand charge transfer spectra now the third one is intervalence charge transfer spectra which, which is also called as metal to metal ligand Met, sorry not the ligand metal to metal charge transfer now the final one is a ligand to ligand charge transfer spectra ligand to ligand charge transfer spectra so these four are the uh, different types of uh, charge transfer spectra different types of charge transfer spectra now we'll go through the uh, like a very uh, very clear cut information regarding to the, these four now we'll go through the first one ligand to metal charge transfer spectra Okay, now we'll go through the first one, the ligand to metal charge transfer spectra. Ligand to metal charge transfer spectra. Okay, now here the electrons are sent from the ligand to metal atom. Ligand to metal atom. Let us go through the uh, uh, very basic information regarding to the this spectra. Now here metal is a vacant orbital. So whenever the ligand send the electrons to the metal atom, that means metal is a vacant, a vacant electron. That means a vacant orbital. Okay. Now here the ligands having the the fulfilled electrons. Okay. Ligands having the fulfilled electrons. Now the conditions regarding to the LMCT. Now I'll write the I'll write over here. Okay. So the first one. Now here ligand metal so the ligand electron sent to the metal atom the ele electrons from the ligand uh, sent to the metal atom that means here ligand lost the electrons L ligands lost the electrons now here oxidation takes place oxidation takes place now here the metal accept the electrons so the gaining of electrons is nothing but a reduction takes place gaining of the electron is nothing but reduction so here metal reduced spectra which is also called as metal reduced spectra sometimes they are asked like this also okay metal reduced charge transfer spectra is nothing but ligand to metal charge transfer spectra okay now the conditions are regarding to the lmct now here metal vacant orbital that means uh, metal there is no electrons uh, that means a uh, very higher oxidation state here is the loss of all the electrons so the first condition metal should be 
metal at a high oxidation state high oxidation state now this is the first point okay whenever the ligands uh, donates their pair of electron when uh, the ligands uh, donate their pair of electron it having the unshared pair of electrons unshared pair of electrons is nothing but a lone pair of electrons ligands should be having the lone pair of electrons lone pair of electrons okay so this is the second point so now here metal to ligand charge transfer that means a uh, metal it is a uh, metal having the d orbital so d orbital whenever the, it, it cannot form the complex uh, d orbital are degenerated whenever the ligands approaches to the central metal atom it can be like a it can be splitted like t2g and eg level now however here the ligand to metal charge transfer spectra which type of ligands can donate their pair of electrons either a don uh, like a sigma donor a sigma and pi donor as well as a pi acceptor these are the three classification of our ligands now here so ligand to metal charge transfer spectra means uh, our ligands uh, they can do donate their pair of electron that means a uh, donor ligands uh, like a uh, pi donor ligands pi donor as well as the sigma donor ligands, sigma and pi donor ligands present over here. Okay, sigma and pi donor. So sigma donor ligands, they have the lesser energy level. It is the donor ligands. It having the lesser energy level. It having the lesser energy level. So it ha it having the electrons. Let let us assume it is it having the electrons. Now here. Uh, electrons uh, here to here trans uh, transfer takes place here to here transition takes place that means um, lumo of a metal atom lumo of a metal atom homo of a ligand atom lumo of a metal atom homo of the ligand atom here the bonding between like a transition between not bonding like a transition between homo homo electrons from ligand okay lumo electrons from metal okay this is the very interesting point so they are they are asked uh, like the questions uh, uh, among the following which is uh, incorrect which is correct okay they are, they frame the questions like that that's why i'll i'll mention all the points over here okay so this is the uh, simplest information regarding to the ligand to metal charge transfer spectra ligand to metal charge transfer spectra now we'll go through the what will happen in case of ligand to metal charge transfer spectra uh, of energy levels of its energy levels now here the ligands best ligands of uh, ligand to metal charge transfer spectra so uh, examples of ligands are first one is oxides like a halides okay now uh, sometimes it is a sulfides like a or uh, like a ro minus oxides n3 minus so these are the uh, best examples uh, regarding to the our ligand to metal charge transfer spectra ligand to metal charge transfer spectra before going to the like uh, uh, energy of uh, ligand to metal charge transfer spectra, uh, I'll give the information regarding to the transitions of LMCT. Transitions of uh, LMCT. So here LMCT means uh, maybe LMCT observed in case of sigma donor ligands or sigma and pi donor ligands. So sigma donor ligands, sigma and pi donor ligands. Now let us go through the metal atom. Whenever it uh, complex is formed, now it it forms the like a T2G and easy set. T2G and easy set. Now, however, our ligands, uh, our sigma LGOs, uh, ligand orbitals. Okay. Now the sigma LGOs are. Uh, only present that means uh, the complex is a sigma donor ligands only complex is formed with only sigma donor ligands now here we observed uh, like uh, two types of transitions now we observed only two types of transitions uh, now sometimes here until d6 1 2 3 4 5 6 sometimes d6 uh, d7 d8 d9 complexes are there now in uh, more than d7 d6 configuration that means the d7 to d9 here this uh, is sigma ligand to like a t2g of a metal orbital ligands transitions not occurred so d7 to d9 only one transition d1 to d6 uh, D1 to D6 are two possible transitions in case of a sigma LGOs. Sigma LGOs. Besides that, uh, now our ligand having the like a sigma and a pi donor ligands. Our, our ligand type is a sigma as well as a pi donor ligands. Now here it is a sigma, it is pi. So it is the sigma orbital, sigma LGO. Now here it is pi orbital, pi LGO. Okay, now here sigma to like a T2G orbital. Now sigma to EG orbital. Here two transitions. Here two transitions. Now here, however, the sigma to uh, like a uh, T2G orbital, sigma to EG orbital. It is also another type of transition. Now we observed D1 to uh, like a D1 to D6 four transitions. 
not d6 d1 to d5 only d1 to d5 not the d6 now uh, d6 to d, d9 d6 to d9 only like here it is not possible so it is a, these two are rolled out now we only observed two types of transition whenever sigma and pi donor ligands are present sigma and uh, pi donor ligands are present so this is the case uh, in uh, octahedral complexes now what will happen in case of uh, like uh, tetrahedral complexes so I did not give the uh, complete uh, molecular orbital diagram of tetrahedral complexes. Now, just now, I'll go through the uh, simplest explanation. Now, here, tetrahedral means uh, EG bottom one, uh, sorry, E bottom top is T2. Now, however, it is a sigma and pi donor ligands. One is a sigma, another one is pi. Okay. Now, here, so uh, pi having the like two types of energy levels. Now, here, here to here, here to here, like here to here here to here only four types of transitions occurs four type of transitions occurs in case of tetrahedral complexes so the best example for tetrahedral complexes mno4 cr2 o7 minus 2 these are the best examples regarding to the uh, like uh, tetrahedral complexes tetrahedral complexes now in case of transition metals uh, which metals will show the like a uh, like a uh, ligand to metal charge transfer spectra we'll go through the uh, availability of uh, vacuum orbital where it is available where it is available now however metal is uh, zero electrons uh, that is our assumption that means uh, metal high oxidation means low number of electrons where it is available for the low number of oxidation that means uh, either d0 configuration in case of d10 configuration so next orbital if 3d is uh, fulfilled then 4s 4p orbital are vacant 4s 4p orbital are vacant so uh, this type of 4s and 4p vacant orbital can also can uh, absorbs the electron from ligands okay now here d0 and d10 is the best example of uh, lmct lmct now d0 d10 means uh, uh, scandium plus 3 like a uh, uh, titanium plus 4 vanadium plus 5 so these are uh, all these three triads are like a titanium uh, vanadium niobium plus 5 tantalum plus 5 okay titanium zirconium hafnium titanium zirconium hafnium plus 5 Sky, uh, scandium like a yttrium lanthanum plus 3 okay so all are the d0 configurations all are the d0 configuration it all uh, it all are shown the like a charge transfer transition now however copper plus 1 silver plus 1 like a rm plus 1 like a um, zinc plus 2 cadmium plus 2 cadmium plus 2 mercury plus 2 it's shown also it show it, it all are having the d10 configuration but here 4s 4p like 5s 5p 6s 6p orbitals are vacant it is also shown the lmct transfer lmct charge transfer spectra now we'll go through the energy of uh, lmct energy of lmct now i'll give the uh, very interesting points uh, uh, regarding to the lmct okay now i'll give the very important uh, uh, energy levels of lmct okay i'll give the three uh, three rules uh, regarding to the uh, energy levels of lmct energy of lmct okay so the first one so generally in generally uh, from in periods so left to right uh, size will be decreases so if are increasing the effective nuclear charge okay size will be decreases uh, like uh, let us take the examples like a uh, vanadium plus 3 chromium plus 4 like a uh, manganese plus 5 uh, that means a uh, vanadium plus 5 chromium plus 6 uh, mn plus 7 we are already discussed uh, like uh, all our d0 configuration here also all our d0 isoelectronic configuration so now left to right uh, size will be decreases uh, undoubtedly left to right size will be decreases okay size is decreases whenever size will be decreases now the energy gap of the electrons now here ligand to metal charge transfer like, uh, type of electrons will be decreases more and more now here these are the ligands orbital these are the metal orbital now here the size decreases that means uh, uh, energy level uh, will low and very low energy levels are very low now the what what we conclude the energy of uh, lmct uh, decreases lmct decreases for increasing the increasing the sorry uh, from left to right from left to right from left to right okay like uh, in periods from left to right uh, the energy of lmct decreases in periods from left to right energy of lmct decreases why because here uh, 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 left to right going on the series and now uh, the size of the metal atoms will be less size of the metal atoms will be less that's why here the energy levels of the metal atoms will uh, will very less uh, that's why here it is of course uh, 
very lesser energy now it requires more energy it requires more energy this is regarding to the v5 plus cr plus 6 mn plus 7 mn plus 7 sometimes they are asking like this the energy of uh, lmct now here v plus 5 CR plus 6, MN plus 7 is the correct answer. Now, this is the energy levels. This is the energy level. So, due to this, it requires more energy. So, the transitions, it may be not visible. Okay. V plus 5 complexes are colorless. V plus 5 complexes are colorless. Manganese shown purple color, like chromium shown yellow color. But it, it, it requires more energy. Vanadium plus 5 complexes does not show the colors. It does not show the colors. So, this is the first A. Okay. So, according to A, left to right, left to right uh, energy of lmct decreases energy of lmct decreases now based on the same point we, we will assume the another point which is nothing but b so in left to right plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 oxidation state increases uh, like oxidizing power increases we know that okay so uh, oxidizing power increases so if oxidizing power increases if oxidizing power increases from left to right now the energy of the lmct decreases and now the same point so on increasing the oxidation state on increasing the oxidation state energy of lmct energy of lmct decreases so these are the same points okay from left to right the size will be decreases the size will be decreases the energy of the um, metal to ligand uh, will be decreases on go going on to the left now again similar case uh, on increasing the oxidation state from left to right oxidation state increases that means uh, uh, left to right oxidizing power increases if oxidizing power increases uh, it appears uh, less frequency we are discussed at the starting of this video starting of this video now we'll go through the second point now we'll go to the second point now here we discussed the two points in first one now the second point uh, that, that is nothing but uh, moving to down so moving to down that means uh, uh, like uh, we, we will take the chromium as an example chromium 6 means uh, chromium uh, like uh, chromium O4 minus 2 uh, molybdenum O4 minus 2 tungsten O4 minus 2 okay all of the chromium plus 6 complex and I'll, I'll write the complexes like in this manner okay vanadium plus 6 from top to bottom like uh, from top to bottom from top to bottom size increases we know that uh, from top to bottom size increases so if size increases like it is the chromium like a uh, uh, it is the chromium now here it is the molybdenum it is the tungsten it is the tungsten if increasing the size uh, the energy gap between the ligand to metal also increases the energy gap between the ligand to metal also increases now we appear uh, we observed the absorption spectrum of uh, like a uh, chromium plus six uh, molybdenum plus six at uh, uh, vanadium plus six complexes will appear so like this will appear so like this this is the absorbance of uh, like uh, three complexes now we observed uh, Okay, now we observed uh, this type of complexes, this type of uh, complexes. Now here 450, 350, 250. This is the lambda wavelength. Okay, now here it is CrO4 minus 2. This is uh, like a MOO4 minus 2. This is uh, tungsten O4 minus 2. Okay, so tungsten O4 minus 2, it is a less wavelength, but it is more energy. It appears approximately 50,000 centimeter in this, uh, approximately 50,000. So now here, WO4 minus 2, it is more energy. We are already draw the molecules like this. Okay, here it is a W, like a molybdenum chromium. So it requires more energy. So WO4 minus 2, again, um, like a MOO4 minus 2 like a chromium O4 minus 2. So this is the energy of uh, uh, energy of different ligands uh, from top to bottom, top to bottom in a group. Now we'll go through the uh, third, uh, third point, uh, third point. Now we'll go through the third point. If ligand metal is the same, same metal, but uh, ligands are different. Ligands are different. Different ligands. So generally, ligands are different. That means uh, easily oxidizable ligands are uh, halides. Okay. So halides. In case of uh, HgCl2, HgBr2, 
HgI2, HgCl2, HgBr2, HgI2. Now here HgCl2, HbR2, HI2. Now here the all or the metal complexes uh, energy levels are same. Metal complexes energy levels are same. Metals uh, appears at a higher energy level. Hg, Hg, Hg. Now here Cl is the uh, in top to bottom. The top to bottom size will be increases. Undoubtedly, top to bottom size increases. That means uh, here chlorine is the lesser size. It appears like a, a very larger larger gap. In case of metals, uh, it appears quite reverse. Now, in case of a Br, it appears like a very little bit energy level. Now, iodine very lesser one. Okay, iodine is very lesser one. That's why iodine is easily oxidizable reagent. Iodine is easily oxidizable reagent. Okay, now here uh, HgI2 is uh, very like a uh, very lesser energy uh, to uh, to show the LMCT of the complex compounds. LMCT of the complex compound. Here iodine is the easily oxidizable color. That's why they are asking the color, uh, question like this: uh, HgI2 like a Bi I3 Pb I2. Okay, so all are the like a similar type of compounds. Uh, all are the iodides. All are the iodides. Even though they are not much of the stronger oxidizing agent, they are not much of the stronger oxidizing agent. Uh, but it shown the color. It shown the red color. It shown the orange red color. Now it shown the yellow color. Even though it is not uh, not much of uh, oxidizing power, but still it shown the color due to the iodide iodide uh, like a easily oxidizable character due to the iodide easily oxidizable character in this point they have framed the questions uh, in previous series here so among these three so uh, the reason of these three colors uh, either charge transfer or lmct mlct like uh, they are asked uh, like that all are the colors due to the ligand to metal charge transfer spectra okay these three are the very important points regarding to the our energy of lmct now we'll go through the like uh, mlct one is a metal to ligand charge transfer spectra metal to ligand charge transfer spectra in this case so metal having the uh, full fulfilled uh, d orbitals so conditions for this uh, so metal having complete d orbitals that means a uh, uh, complete filling d orbitals so here that means more number of electrons more number of electrons but uh, ligand having the vacant site ligand having the vacant site the ligand having a pi star vacant orbital pi star vacant orbital whenever the ligand having the pi star vacant orbital when it is a pi acceptor ligands only when it is pi acceptor ligands so now the examples of pi acceptor ligands so co cn minus no like a diamines alpha diamines alpha diamines nothing but a biperidyl like a biperidyl phenanthrolene these are the best example regarding to the uh, mlct again not only this a dithiolene di thiolene these are this is also uh, much, much more example uh, regarding to the L M L mlct okay now here metal donate their electrons uh, that means here metal is oxidized now here ligand is reduced that means uh, which is also called as metal oxidized charge transfer spectra metal oxidized ct spectra okay it is metal oxidized charge transfer spectra these are the metal having the complete uh, d orbital ligand having the pi star vacant orbital pi acceptor that means a uh, pi acceptor ligand so those are co cn minus no biperidyl phenolphthalein dithiolene okay again uh, several uh, several examples are there okay now we'll go through the energy of uh, MLCT diagram energy of MLCT diagram. So now here metal is whenever the metal complex uh, without a forming the complex It is like degenerated when it forms the complex now here the degeneracy will loss now here the, the ligand orbital Pi star means uh, it is a higher energy level pi star means uh, it is a higher energy level So okay now here we observed two types of transition one is a uh, t2g orbital to the uh, Pi star of ligand orbital pi star of ligand orbital another one is a uh, eg orbital to the pi star of uh, ligand orbital in case of tetrahedral it is reversed like a uh, like a uh, here t2 is present here e is present okay now we observed uh, these two types of transition these two types of uh, transition generally so bottom transition to the pi star transitions are colorless complexes okay why because it is it requires a large energy it requires a large energy that's why it is a uh, colorless complexes these are the very intense in color complexes very 
intensed color complexes intensed color complexes so generally uh, uh, metal to ligand charge transfer spectra very intense in color in case of uh, easy to pi star transitions easy to pi star transition now we'll discuss the, some of the examples regarding to the mlct <coughs> now here chromium tris bipyridyls plus 2 chromium tris bipyridyl plus 2 it's shown the orange color now here k4 fe cn6 it's on the red color now here k4 fe cn6 now here k3 fe cn6 it's on the yellow color okay now uh, several complexes are there it's shown the colors uh, with the help of uh, bipyridyl ligands bipyridyl ligands here it is a uh, only one now here it is uh, four it may be octahedral complexes sometimes uh, iron complexes are also shown the colors regarding to the uh, mlct all are the examples of uh, mlct complexes all are the examples of uh, mlct complexes okay now we'll go through the third one third charge transfer spectra of uh, intervalence uh, intervalence ct spectra which is nothing but metal to metal charge transfer spectra metal to metal charge transfer spectra in this in previous both cases uh, we'll observe the metal to ligand charge or ligand to metal charge transfer spectra now here we observe the metal to metal uh, charge transfer spectra in this case we observe the metal to metal charge transfer spectra that means uh, the transitions occurs uh, valence excited valence state of one metal to another excited valence state of uh, another metal okay now the transitions occurs uh, uh, between the metals a transition occurs between the metal excited state metal excited state okay now let us go through the uh, examples now here k f e f e c n 6 minus f e c n 6 minus now generally it is k4 f e c n 6 complex let, let us assume k4 f e c n 6 complex here four plus ions now here only one plus is the uh, now the iron atom having the plus three oxidation state now here it is plus two oxidation state now it's on the prussian blue color prussian blue color due to the mmct transfer spectra mmct transfer spectra what will happen in case of mmct so here in in case of iron plus two complex iron plus two complex uh, coordinated with octahedrally carbon atoms of uh, cyanide carbon atoms of uh, cyanide again um, these nitrogen atom here the iron plus three atom uh, uh, like uh, are surrounded with octahedral environment of uh, n minus n minus n minus okay so now iron plus three having the uh, connected to the nitrogen atom but iron plus two connected to the carbon atom so now here whenever the electron uh, electron transfer uh, uh, electron transfer between the plus two to plus three now what will happen here iron here it is plus two here fe cn6 plus three okay it's shown a uh, turnable color okay turnables blue color turnable blue color so this uh, color change will occur between will occur due to the uh, like metal to metal electronic transition metal to metal electronic transition here 3 to 2 2 to 3 it be, here it occurs the sum of the transition the, the, due to that uh, it's on the uh, charge transfer spectra it's on the charge transfer spectra <coughs> now we'll go through the second example now here ruthenium nh3 five times here like a pyrazine ligand okay here it is pyrazine ligand now again ruthenium nh3 five times nh3 five times so over uh, here the oxidation state is plus plus five now one of the metal is a plus three oxidation state another metal is plus two oxidation state now the same case now we observed ruthenium to ruthenium electronic transition again it's shown the like a metal to metal charge transfer spectra metal to metal charge transfer spectra now, now the third one is pb3o4 okay here one is pb plus two another one is pb plus four oxidation state now here electronic transition takes place pb plus two to pb plus four due to this electronic transition here it's shown the like a very intense red color intense red color so that's why pb3 o4 which is nothing but a red lead which is nothing but a red lead which is not which is nothing but a sindur okay so it is the color of a, a more intense red color due to the lead plus two to lead plus four complexes lead plus two to lead plus four complexes some of these spinels will be having the uh, like a fourth example some of these spinels will be having the color that color due to the mm transition mmct that means a uh, intervalency charge transfer spectra intervalency charge transfer spectra now we'll go through the final one 
now uh, this video will go into the very large uh, don't feel too like a uh, very vast uh, it is the every point included for our charge transfer vector why because uh, each and every every point is uh, needed for the csirism they are asked the like a uh, one two three four options they are given in the one two four points uh, among the four which is correct okay they are they are friendly questions like that that's why we will go through the each and every point very clearly okay now the fourth one ligand to ligand charge transfer spectra ligand to ligand charge transfer spectra in case of ligand to ligand charge transfer spectra what will happen so the electronic transitions takes place from one is the pi donor ligand one is the pi donor ligand again another one is the pi acceptor ligand pi acceptor ligand so if both the pi donor as well as pi acceptor ligands present over the same met, same complex then here uh, here the this ligand to ligand tra charge transfer takes place now here ligand to metal metal to ligand charge transfer takes place then it is called a ligand to ligand charge transfer spectra now we'll go through the some of the example be co3 taken twice i3 okay this is the best example regarding to the like a ligand to ligand charge transfer spectra here transition occurs between the like a, one of the oxidizing ligand to like reducing ligand oxidizing ligand both both oxidizing as well as reducing ligand present the same complexes now we observe the uh, ligand to ligand charge transfer spectra this is the best example beryllium co3 taken thrice uh, co taken thrice uh, i3 okay so here co is pi acceptor ligand now i is a pi donor ligand pi donor ligand okay so this is the four uh, like a charge transfer spectra of the complex compounds so very interestingly uh, uh, charge transfer spectra shown uh, many of the complex compounds only okay sometimes it shown the like a uh, non transitional elements okay so these are the uh, uh, four uh, four charge transfer bands or uh, transitions uh, in charge transfer spectra okay if you like the video share uh, okay these are the four charge transfer uh, spectra uh, like one is a uh, ligand to metal metal to ligand metal to metal uh, ligand to ligand charge transfer spectra okay okay thank you for watching